uh, some of the questions we get is, is how can you know, I block straight punch? You know, it's very hard to block anything unless you practice all the time. If you don't practice this, if you don't do it all the time, you're always going to get punched, you're always going to get hurt. If you look for boxing, UFC fighters, those guys train every day, 24-7, and when they go and fight, guess what? They still get punched, even though they know what's happening. So it's very important for you to practice, and it's a big possibility that you're going to get hit when you're fighting with any bad guys or if you have any, any, any problems. So now back to uh, the straight punch. Talking about the straight punch, when the straight punch is coming, if I decide to go this side, you are outside the body, okay? If I decide to go this side, you are inside of the body. And if you go inside of the body, you need to be careful with the other hand because the other hand is going to be waiting for you. So we're going to explain just going outside the body, okay? So from this position, I'm just going to block basically with my left, my left hand, and then my right is going to try to grab or just redirect the punch, and then I'm going to change that focus. You got to change the focus immediately like we always say. Want to change the focus, I'm staying tight now. Now I'm going to hit again hard here, and I'm going to kick with my left foot at the same time, and this is what's going to happen. And I want to stay with the bad guy, then I'm going to take him all the way down to my cuffing position, and I'm staying tight with him. Okay. See that again from different angle. Going to be here. Same thing, straight punch. I'm outside the body, I'm not inside, so I don't have to worry about, if I'm here, I have to worry about this, okay? So I'm not inside, I'm outside, then change that focus immediately because this hand could come back to get you as well. So from here, one, two, change their focus, staying close and tight. This hand is...